Millions of years ago, two gods were deeply in love with each other. One was Mala, a god of love and fauna. The other was Panama, a goddess of the land and ocean. It's a love story, baby, just say yes. Anyway, one day, a bird from Mala came to Panama's region, visibly disheveled. It told her of the havoc in Mala's region as the people were convinced that some animals were demons. And during that, Mala was killed protecting them. The animals can't do anything anymore after that. The bird pleaded for her to help them. Oh dear goddess, please help us! Using her powers, the once separated continents with the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans freely flowing through the gap would soon be connected to help the animals escape. How would the continents get connected? You see, the plate tectonic boundary type of the Panama land bridge is a subduction zone. This is formed by tectonic activity and the constant movement of the tectonic plates. For the Panama land bridge, the Pacific and Caribbean plates converge and create a subduction zone. The Pacific plate then under the pressure of the Caribbean plate had some of its earth melted, forming magma which rose. This magma would eventually find a point of extrusion and will have what they call volcanoes. Anyways, going back to the story, Enraged at the death of her lover, land sprung up, connecting her to Mala's region. At this time, the animals immediately knew what it meant. Animals started escaping. The people saw they were running and followed after. However, after a while, what they saw wasn't your normal land. No, lava was flowing everywhere while the land kept transforming, allowing the animals into safe passages and critters into tiny holes. None of the hunters would stood the invading volcanoes and went back. Stories of this would then circulate, leading people to call this strip of volcanoes Panama. After this escape, Panama treated her lover's creatures with the utmost care, even integrating into the environment and living happily with the locals. And so, the Panama language we now know today was formed. Anyways, this subduction zone would form volcanoes, and with time, those volcanoes grew to rise above the oceans and increase in number. These volcanoes are Babu, El Valle, and Le Yeguada. Two are dormant, while Babu is the only potentially active one, its latest eruption being around 400 to 500 years ago. The land bridge we have is a result of sediments flowing from the oceans into the gaps and solidifying into the land mass. The formation of this Panama land bridge would have a significant impact on the entire world. This bridge between the two land masses allowed the migration of, na of native animals to cross to the other continent, improving biodiversity. As a bridge, this was also extremely helpful for establishing trade or transportation between the two locations. This potential was used to its fullest by numerous places in history. Aside from that, this land bridge cut off two oceans, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. From the blockage of these two oceans, the flow and current of the water change. This then rerouted the warmer waters of the Caribbean to Northeast Atlantic, increasing the general temperature of Northwestern Europe. Due to that, the precipitation also increased, which leads to the current ice age we know today. Another change is also that the Atlantic grew saltier. Wow, really? Yes, of course. Thank you so much, Grandma. I understand so much more now. No problem, sweetheart. Dun -dun 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 -dun.